Bundaberg Root Beer, Australian, family owned. Ingredients include carbonated water, cane sugar, root beer brew, which is made up of water, sugar, molasses, ginger root, sarsaparilla root, licorice, root extract, vanilla bean extract, and a bunch of other natural flavors with a few preservatives. <sighs> Welcome to another episode of Eric Wade Whiskey Studies. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Milam and Green Straight Rye Whiskey, finished in a uh, port cast, bottled at 94 proof or 47% uh, alcohol by a uh, volume. Um, this was gifted to me by uh, Heather Green of uh, Milam and Green Distillery. And if you really want to understand quality rye whiskeys, you really need to understand a really good root beer. Not the stuff that comes out of the fountain at the Taco Bell or some other fast food restaurant, not Fanta, not some of the artificial stuff. You really need to know what a craft root beer tastes like. So uh, keep your eye out for a craft root beer to train your palate, whether it's a uh, Bundaberg root beer from Australia or perhaps some of those that you might find at a health food store or all natural food store. Those are the root beers you want to know because they have a very distinctive flavor uh, that you're going to find in quality rye whiskeys. And you'll notice it has sarsaparilla root. It has ginger root. It has licorice root, all right? Because those are the qualities and characters you're going to find in good rye whiskeys. But uh, before I get into this, here are my notes on this rye. Milam and Green Port Finished Rye Whiskey is brought from Indiana to Texas where it is batched in the Blanco Rickhouse and finished in Old Port Wine Cast from Portugal. The Texan sun influences the rate and strength of flavor imparted into the whiskey. Some casts take longer than others so the whiskey is tasted regularly in the Port Wine Cast to determine when the optimal flavors are achieved. Casts are then batched together and proofed before bottling. It is bottled at 47% alcohol by volume. All right, so when I visited the distillery, I was able to pick up a bottle of the Ben Milam um, straight bourbon, um, but they hadn't yet released the Milam and Green. When I met up with Heather Green at the Bashers Ball down in Austin, Texas, um, she said she would send me a couple bottles because they weren't yet available for sale. So I then received a couple bottles and I've already reviewed the uh, Milam and Green Straight Bourbon, uh, triple blended uh, straight bourbon, which I really, really like. I don't have as much experience with rye as I do with, say, uh, bourbon straight bourbons or um, uh, Scotch whiskeys or even Japanese whiskeys. But there is something I find in this rye that I find in some high rye bourbons, uh, such as, I say, a Bullet or a Redemption, Redemption uh, Number no. 9, uh, high rye bourbons. Uh, that sort of root beer character that you get sort of in the mid palate, that is transitioned into the entire palate when you're drinking a straight rye. Meaning plus intense aromas. So at 47%, I can really get my nose in there uh, without too much tingle, but it's definitely you know, you can tell the proof is there. It's more than 40%. In addition to um, black licorice and root beer and sarsaparilla, I get, so I do get some caramel notes. There's a slight herbal note. You get a lot of vanilla. There's a little bit of a woodiness there. There's, I think it's the herbal character to it that, that really also stands out and really identifies it as rye rather than as a high rye bourbon. There's also, I would say, a little black pepper or some other sort of uh, strong spice notes. There's a slight, actually a slight smoke character, uh, but it's not like, you know, a peaty smoke. It's more like a, um, like a barbecue smoke. All right, on the palate. Mmm, 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 mmm. 
Man. The funny thing about rye whiskeys is it's sort of like peated smoky whiskeys. People tend to either really like peated smoky whiskeys or they don't at all. I think the same thing goes for rye whiskeys as well. They have this very strong and pungent character to them, uh, sort of like peated smoky whiskeys. Not that they they don't taste like peated smoky whiskeys, but they have that strong character that very quickly identifies itself as to what it is, and you either like it or you don't. And this one, I really, really like. Well, I get some caramels. Actually, a little bit of a slight chocolate note. It's the sarsaparilla root beer anise character that is there, but it's not like a straight up, you know, black licorice. If, you, if it's not just a mouthful of black licorice, on the back end, as a finish, as you swallow, and the and the, the fall through that continues, I still taste it right now. There's a sort of herbal note to it, almost like an herbal tea. There is um, somewhat of a freshly well. If you've cut your grass or uh, some hay and you let the hay or grass sit there and maybe after the morning do, uh, there's a smell of damp hay or, or, or uh, cut grass. There's a little bit of that as well. Mm. Slightly sweet. It definitely has a huge change. It's up in the front that you get more of the caramels, maybe a little bit of coffee. Maybe a little bit of chocolate notes. And then it's in that mid palate that the sarsaparilla, some, some black licorice, that root beer character, you know, like this kind of root beer, that uh, kicks in. And what follows through is a sort of herbal tea, uh, wet hay and grass notes. Now, I really like this rye, but like a peated whiskey, it's going to be something which I've got to be in the mood for it, right? Um, if I'm in the mood for you know, heavy metal, then I don't want to listen to, you know, Vivaldi or Bach or Mozart or Beethoven, right? Uh, and if I'm in the mood to sort of chill out and listen to, uh, you know, uh, Beethoven or uh, Mozart or Vivaldi or, you know, uh, then I'm not going to want to hear really loud heavy metal music, right? It's all about mood uh, driven. And this is really a fantastic rye when you're in that mood for a root beer, when you're in that mood for that spice uh, and that uh, distinctive root beer sarsaparilla character. So I really, really uh, like this. Um, I'm gonna give this a solid 90 points, solid 90 points. Now, in context, in context, when I'm you know reviewing Cabernet Sauvignon, I've tasted hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds Cabernet Sauvignon from California, from Bordeaux, from Australia, from, you know, from around the world, right? So every time I, you know, uh, review or analyze a Cabernet Sauvignon or Cab Cabernet Sauvignon based wine, it's in the context of the entire globe and all the experience I've had with that varietal of wine. Same thing goes for bourbon, same thing goes for peated whiskey and so forth. Um, because I don't have a huge depth of experience with rye whiskeys, I don't have a whole lot to compare it to at this moment. I considered holding on to this bottle until I did maybe a rye month and taste, you know, go through a whole bunch of ryes an entire month. Uh, but I decided, you know, during this Texas um, marathon that I would go ahead and review it now. And I will definitely come back to it when I do a rye month uh, so I can compare it to a bunch of other ryes, uh, which I'm um, really, really looking forward to that, to learn a little bit more about rye and when I do. I'll spend some more time on studying rye, the different types of rye grains that are used and so forth, and the legal requirements for a whiskey to be called a straight white. But as for now, this is an absolutely fantastic whiskey. If you're in um, Texas and you're gonna visit the distillery, I think you're definitely gonna wanna pick up this rye whiskey if you're looking for something uh, that's really, really uh, distinct. A absolutely fantastic whiskey. All right, that's it for this review. If you subscribe to this channel, I want to thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, like to watch my videos, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, and other social network channels. And until next time, cheers. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and check out these other whiskey videos.